Hi guys, this is Dr. Kilgore again with Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math video for your learning tonight. Our learning goal is I can divide with zeros in the quotient. Our guiding question is when do you write a zero in the ones place in the quotient? So vocabulary, we don't have any new vocabulary, but I want to remind you of our division vocabulary. We have the dividend, which is the number being divided, the divisor, which is what the dividend is being divided by, and the quotient, which is the answer or the results. So again, reminding you of our strategies for division success tonight. Use compatible numbers to help you estimate. You're going to divide, multiply, subtract, and compare. And then keep going until you have a zero or a remainder. So let's pull up some scratch paper here. Make sure you've got your notes going. And let's do a few practice problems together. So we have 972 divided by 9. Well, it looks to start out real good because I know 9 will go into 9 one time. So 1 multiplied by 9 is 9. We subtract and get a 0. We bring our 7 down. But I know that 9 won't go into 7. So that's why I have to put a 0 up here in the tens place. 0 times 9 is 0. I subtract. I get a 7. Bring my 2 down down and I know that 8 times 9 is 72 so my quotient is 108 let's look at that again look at this 0 right here we got that when 9 would not go into 7 so let's look at a few more practice problems together tonight so that we Try to help this all make sense. 714 divided by 7. Well, 7 will go into 7 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Bring the 1 down. But 7 won't go into 1, so we need a 0. Bring the 4 down. 7 will go into 14 two times. 2 times 7 is 14 exactly with no remainder. Let's clear this out. Remember, if I'm going too fast on these problems, you can always slow it down. You can pause the video and do the steps and practice that way. We have 453 divided by 5. Well, 5 won't go into 4, so I have to take 5 into 45. I know that's going to be a 9, and notice that I put the 9 right above the 5. I bring my 3 down. 5 won't go into 3 at all, so I have to put a 0. So I get 90, remainder 3. This 0 is for any time that we don't have a number that our divisor will go into. So let's do just a couple more problems tonight. Let's do 840 divided by 6. 6 will go into 8 one time. To bring my down. 
6 will go into 24 four times because 4 times 6 is 24. And I bring my 0 down. 6 will go into 0, 0 times. And that's it. So 840 divided by 6 equals 140. Let's do one last problem together. Let's do 776 divided by 7. Well, 7 will go into 7 one time. Bring the 7 down. 7 will go into that 7 one time as well. Subtract, and I get a 0. Bring my 6 down. 7 will go into 6 0 times. And that gives me 6 left over, which means a remainder of 6. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video tonight. Please make sure that you are understanding the process of dividing. It's the same repeated steps over and over and over, just knowing what to do when you get to a point where, in this case, one number won't go into the other. You need a zero. So make sure that your notes are complete. If this is still not making sense, bring what work you have done. That way, when I see you in class tomorrow, you can show me, you can say, here's where I got stuck and I just don't know what to do next. That will help me help you understand how to divide and put zeros in the quotient. I will see you in class tomorrow. Have a fabulous night.